Hey, John from Mighty here. And in this video, I'm going to walk through how to add Google Analytics into your Articulate Rise course. This has been a long requested feature by us in the community. And really, it's good for those who want additional tracking information to be able to know regional data, or if you want to add any sort of like event tracking that you can do with Google Analytics. This is the perfect video for you. You can now do this with Mighty and have it be stored with your course. So every time you publish, you don't have to go back and re-inject all of that Google Analytics tracking information in there. The only prerequisite that you need is a Google Analytics account and maybe a site that you've already set up. So you've got the tracking code information. I'll walk through all of the JavaScript and provide that for you guys in the description. So if you have any questions at all, you can feel free to comment and we can dive right in. But let's get into this. All right, so as we dive in, let's first open up two tabs. The first tab is going to be your Articulate Rise course in which we're gonna add the Google Analytics tracking to, and then also open up your Google Analytics tracking page. So this is just a normal dashboard page, and I've just set up a, a property that we're gonna be able to do this validation for, and specifically we'll eventually see something over here in this real-time area. So before we leave Google Analytics, let's just go ahead and get our tracking site information. So to do that, you'll go into the admin section and then you'll go down to this data and collection and data streams. And then in here, you have to set up a data stream with Google Analytics V4. And once you're in here, you can view this tag instructions. Once you view tag instructions, this will reveal the JavaScript that you would typically just put inside of your index.html. So we're gonna go ahead and copy that and then dive over to our RISE course. In your RISE course, where we wanna to go to add this tracking information is under theme. And then there is a new feature in here, if you've not used yet, called custom code. So this is a mighty mod. And this allows us to add in either CSS or JavaScript into your course. We're specifically focusing in on JavaScript. So let's just go ahead and expand this up. I am going to paste this in here. So we have this kind of visible and available to us as we walk through this. Uh, real quick, as you guys get into typing into this box here, you'll notice a lot of features that may be familiar to you if you're a developer. This uses the features and functionalities that VS Code uses under the hood. And there's a lot of really fun things that you can do with getting auto completion and all of your like shortcut keys that you get to use. So I get nerded out about this because I feel at home when I use this inside of Rise, which is great. But anyways, so this is our tracking information. Unfortunately, you cannot just drop this in here like this because what the JavaScript tab does is it actually runs JavaScript code. You can't just put script tags in there and expect it to work. So all we have to do is convert this code into JavaScript that would essentially mirror what this code is doing. So let's go ahead and do that. So first steps is we're just gonna create a script uh, variable and in here we're gonna create this element and as you can see, as I type, like it's giving me auto completion, which is incredible. Um, again, very fun for us who are in the development space and don't wanna have to remember all these functions. This is perfect. For everyone else who doesn't care about this, you'll just be able to copy and paste it. But anyways, so as we go through, we're gonna create this script and we're going to set the source. The source that you would get is between the script tag. It's basically replacing this first line here. So this will set up that source. And then we are going to also set up the attribute. So we'll do set attribute. And in here, we are going to do the async attribute, just giving it an empty value. So now we've got a DOM element created that we then need to add into our course once this gets started. So the way that you'll do that, and I'm just gonna drop in this so you don't have to watch me type it, is we are gonna first query out the head tag, and then if that exists, append the script to that. And then we're gonna run a function that doesn't exist yet called start analytics, which is what this will, this will contain. So 
Let me go ahead and grab that. Let me create a function called star analytics. Wow, that's amazing. It auto completed. And we can uncomment that code. And we can now uncomment this. And then that takes care of the two sections of what you would normally copy and paste out of the analytics tag information. So basically it creates a script tag, adds that to the head, and then runs this function once that's there, which sets up our Google Analytics tracking. That's it. That's the whole thing that you have to do, which is amazing. So now we have this, this exists. We can save this custom code mod. And at this point, we can now publish this either out of Articulate Rise and put this into wherever you deliver your content at and Google Analytics tr should, tracking should work. Uh, but we are gonna actually just publish to the Articulate Review tool. So that way you can see within Review 360, the tracking information up and running. So let me go ahead and pause here and I'll be back inside of the review. All right, we are back in Review 360. I published this, just called it Google Analytics Test. This is our course. If I wanted to verify what's going on, we can just go to Inspect. And in here, this is our iframe of our course. And we can see inside of the head tag, here is our JavaScript that it created. So this is the analytics script tag with the async property on it. And this is proving that, okay, great. Our JavaScript ran and all of the Google Analytics tracking information is here. So if we go to the analytics, Google Analytics tab, and let's go ahead and back out of all of this, go to our reports, look at real-time data, and we're seeing an issue here. This is expected because there's some browser securities that don't allow analytic tracking to happen in a nested iframe. It's just a byproduct of how Review360 works, where in Review, there's this shell where you can actually do like review comments that wraps your course itself. So again, if we look back at this code, you'll see that this is all nested in what's called an iframe. So typically you wouldn't want Google Analytics tracking inside of your iframed course and you're not gonna share out a review link to your learners to consume it. You most likely you'll publish this and put this in your content delivery system. So what that would feel like is this, where they're actually opening up the course direct. And again, we can prove that the analytic tracking information is in here. Here's our script tag. And now that we've got this actually opened up, not iframed in, we should be able to go back into here and see in just a few minutes, the number indication jump up from zero real-time users to one. And here we are, we're back and we can see that we've got a user viewing our course in Rise. And again, this is just the beginning. Now at this point, what you could do is you could add all sort of event tracking inside of Google Analytics. So if you wanted to know how many people reached certain parts of your course, you could write more JavaScript inside that custom code section in order for you to be able to get access to that. So that was it. Quick and painless video on how to add Google Analytic tracking into your Articulate Rise course. If this was helpful for you, please hit the like or subscribe button. We'd love to have you guys share this out with your friends and in the community. Thanks and see you in the next one.